Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's Yes, well, you know, today, today is the first that I know most, most um, people, Jamaicans and people in the diaspora and, f and fans of Vibes Cartel, this is the first time that they're going to see, yeah, the dog that helps help Vibes Cartel to prison, yeah, man. And we want to, yeah, man, big up the Gaza, the, uh, the Gaza um, supporter, yeah, man, who, you know, yeah. And uh, so the boy, them respect Chris as a youth, you know, used to. I'm well, not a youth still, I'm you know, a big man now, I'm not a youth, yeah, you understand? So we want to give thanks to the Gaza supporter, yeah, who, who sent us the video. I want to say, boy, hey, look here, you know, say, you know, nobody not have the, the picture or the, the photo of the dog, you understand, and the video. So, yeah, that's a, right now you're looking at Vice, that's Vice Cartel right there, you know, with his dog. That's a dog, yeah. That's a dog that sent, that sent Vice Cartel to prison. And yeah, Vibes Cartel even said in a prison say his dog is smarter than his supporters. So we're gonna let you see the video itself. Yeah, so you understand. Make you say the dog, yeah man, the dog was sent Vibes Cartel to prison. I just saw it go, you know. Yeah, so today we you know, um ladies and gentlemen, you know, today, you know, we are bringing you a revelation that will astonish and enlighten you, yeah man. You know, a Jamaica Young Police Channel, you know, is an entertainment channel, you know. So at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we will introduce you to the police dog, yeah man, a police dog that, you know. But yeah, yeah Vice Cardinal, man, also the dog was a police dog, is a pit bull, you know, yeah man, police dog, can I get police food? Yeah, yeah, you, uh, yeah man, in time your dog get police food, you're serving food or them serve the dog, them, or the dog, you buy the dog food for the dog, and that food make the dog think like a police. So that's happening, you know, with, with cartel. Yeah, so, yeah, so, you know, so we will introduce you to the police dog that was pivotal in sending Vibes Cartel to prison. But that's not all. This remarkable dog possesses an, eye, an IQ higher than, higher and more superior than many of Vibes Cartel fans. A fact, um, cartel acknowledged while in prison. No, hold on. So you're telling me that Vibes Cartel is saying... That is dog IQ and and more superior than many of his fans. I insult cartel, I insult fans. I man said the dog IQ higher than his fans. Really? What I tell you? Uh, well, and the lie I tell still doing okay. I'm a real dummy, you know. You understand? I'll do it. They hear cartel. I send vice note to other people. Say, boy, oh. Um, to problem child say oh boy we, you don't know say them as long as them living and them can't find lizard in a lizard come like a son you understand so you don't know what he was telling them that uh, yeah lizard gone straight to the departure lounge yeah man via you know the, all them cremate body and them thing there yeah man and it was said that I fat boy a fat boy um beetle juice yeah you know Tommy Tommy bright Tommy bright light Mm, yeah, so so this extra, extraordinary police dog was not just any dog. It was specifically trained, law enforcement, keenly programmed to uphold justice. And Vice Cartel not even know that say, the dog was trained. Yeah, man, it's like, yeah, its intelligence and ability were unmatched. Ensuring that even someone as notorious as Vice Cartel could not escape the long arm of the law. So in a twist of teal, Vibes Cartel's dog became a symbol of justice. 
demonstrating qualities that that outshone those of many human supporters. So even the dog and you know, the dog IQ I am uh, superior to most of Vibes Cartel supporters. You understand? So that's you know that was one of the the gift where the dog come with, you know, the dog can sense things from afar and no fear, assimilate and adjust. Yeah man, so <laughs> vibes can't tell dog man, I may, may I tell you. You understand? So as we say, we, you know, we appreciate the guys that the you know the guys the, the virgin from from waterfall to send with the thing. You understand? You know, when I think the know so boy, you know, you know, people are waterfall tune into the Jamaica Young Police channel. And yeah, we give thanks we give thanks to the video, you know. Yeah, that's for sure you say, you know, at least we know so boy the message I reach other people, you understand? Yeah, so Yeah man, so the, the, the ability of the dog were on match, ensuring that even someone as notorious as Vibes Cartel could not escape the long arm of the law. So no matter what Cartel do, you know, so hey look here. So in a twist of fate, Vibes Cartel dog became a symbol of justice, demonstrating qualities that outshone those of many human supporters. This dog's action actions and loyalty to law our stark reminder that integrity and intelligence can be found in the most unexpected places. So, yeah, so basically, you know, um, you know, say if Vibes Cartel supported them was even intelligent like this dog, you don't know, you wouldn't have nobody out there talking about, say, boy, free, free cartel and free world boss. Even this dog, you have more sense than them. So, look, uh, we, know, uh, we want you, you to watch and you you watch, you listen and you decide. You're going to see Vibes Cartel and him dog. The police dog will send him to prison. Yeah, man. So, yeah, yeah man, I tell you, you know, we give thanks to the Virgin of Water for the Senate to wear them things. Heal up, man. Yeah, boy, when I want to see the no say you know we are them things. So, I just saw it go. Blessed love. So, you watch, you listen and you decide. Alright, alright, <laughs> 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 The one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, so you know that's five scar tell and, and the police dog. So you, you see it for yourself. So you know the dog is no longer a mystery, you see him. That's a vibe scar tell that I wanna call it, you understand? You know, so so as we you know, as we reveal the incredible K9 era, a true enforcer of justice who helped bring a notorious figure to account, it's story that underscored the profound impact of loyalty, training and and, and yielding commitment to law so prepare to be amazed uh, you know so as, as you see we, we showcase the the dog that bite vibes cartel and stand as a testament to justice and integrity so most jamaicans and vibes cartel fans even in the diaspora have heard the story of the dog that bit vibes cartel but guess what you have never seen this dog until now so at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, you know, you know, we reveal, you know, Vibes Cartel Pitbull, a police dog train to leave bite marks and cartel anytime he commits a crime. So this dog, yeah man, the dog was no ordinary dog. It was a pit bull. Yeah man, the dog was a pit bull. A police dog train. You understand? And program, it was programmed to uphold the law. Ensure that known violence producer like Vibes, Vibes Cartel would be marked whenever he crossed the line. Yeah man, because I fooled them with Vibes Cartel by feed dog. Even though he buy the food them, you know. But he know say the American them owe them, you know, there's certain food for certain dog. And once you give the dog them certain food, yeah man, them dog they become law law abiding dog them like police. So that happened with Vibes Cartel. So Pitbull is, pitbulls, you know, are often misunderstood. They can be loyal and loving pets, but also have a strong instinct to protect and uphold justice, especially when trained for that purpose. Cartels, pitbull, fed with exceptional food to enhance its law-abiding nature, exemplifies this. The dog bites were a testament to its role in curbing cartels' wrongdoing attacking only the owner stray from the right path so that's why yeah so that's why the dog bite vibes cartel after him he did what he did so you know the jamaica young police and as we unveil the truth and show you vibes cartel and his formidable justice seeking pitbull it's time you, you know as you, you you know you have seen it for yourself behind the legend and understand why this put pitbull bit vibes cartel so and you know all we know about all uh, it was during the trial that the witness um said that he saw a lizard lying motionless at cartel's house so the main witness you know for the prosecution that are we the china youth yeah we you understand testify at the murder trial of the entertainer vibes cartel and his four co-accused at an august 16 2011, he saw Clive Lizard Williams lying motionless on the living room floor at Cartel's house in Evendale. So I killed him, killed him, and him up on the floor. And we see him. He said he and Williams were taken in a taxi to the house where Cartel questioned them about two missing guns. And Williams said that they planned to buy back the guns. Yeah, that's how I gun them in a, yeah, look here now. That's how I gun in a, we, gun them with cartel, um, give this, um, give the youth out of East. Yeah, man. You know, so got cartel give one youth out of East, the gun them, because to lizard catch cartel behind. Sean Storm. Yeah, man, and you understand, and why Sean Storm, I behave like cow, I make some, you know, real, Cow nice and all them things according to lizard. So that's the reason why um you know cartel kill him. Because he had witnessed cartel behind 
Sean Storm, you know, and them are going with them thing. I can't tell a real admiral, you know. Hey, whether or not you want to believe it or not. Hey, I, I don't know if you had seen all the video when Vibes Cartel are rubbed down the um, thing there. Arm um, leg, where him name? Uh, uh, Roach, the brother where him kill you. You can't stay there. A long, uh, yeah, hey, anybody where go around Cartel, they might forget, the, they might forget the, the, the soldier. Man or woman. You understand? But, you know, Sean Storm, yeah, was seem real girl. Yeah, man, see, that? Which man can't take picture with me and, 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 and lean them face by my face? You must be mad. I, yeah, <laughs> so I see that, yeah. So, you know, the retrial, it started yesterday at I tent. But boy, may I tell you, no man can put them face by my face. You, you crazy? No, nah, man, I cannot eat that thing. That I'm sure you said the man a real rare admiral, you know. Yeah, so, so the Crown, the Crown is alleging that, you know, at the trial in the home circuit court, that cartel, whose real name is Adija Palmer, entertainer Sean, Storm, Sean Campbell, popular call Sean Storm, Andres St. John, Shane Williams, and Kira Jones, Kahira Jones, murdered Williams at a Clive Lizard Williams on August 16, 2011. The witness said that on the afternoon of August 16, 2011, he was called to Campbell's home in Waterford, St. Catherine. When he went there, he saw, Cam saw Williams at Campbell's gate. He said Campbell told Williams that Cartel wanted to see him because since the guns were missing, he had not seen them. He said he left for his home and some sometime later that evening he saw Williams and Campbell come to his gate in a taxi. He went with them in the cab and they all went to a house in Evendale. St. John was already on the premises when they arrived at the gate. He opened the gate and they went inside. The taxi driver did not go inside with them. He said Cartel invited them inside the house. So prosecutor Jeremy Taylor asked what happened inside the house and Cartel said he wonder what happened. Run, run out of fear. He said he told Cartel that he was at work and that, that Brown and Lizard had gone for the guns. Lizard said he had given Brown the guns to put back. Cartel then asked what they planned to do and Lizard told him that they planned to buy back the guns. The witness said that Jones then a Lizard and he, the witness, ran to the back of the room because he feared that something was going to happen to him too. He said Cartel and Shamstown brought him back to the living room where he saw Williams lying motionless on the floor and St. John holding a building block on his head while Jones was bending over Lizard. He said he felt he would be next. So he ran from the house, jumped the gate and went to the road. He said he saw a cartel follow him. Cartel told him, told him, a man, Carl Brown man and Lizard had stolen the gun. He said Cartel, who was limpid, said the dog had bitten him and he wanted to go to the hospital. The witness said he stopped a taxi and went with Cartel to the hospital. After they left the hospital, he went to Waterford that night where he saw Campbell. Campbell told him not to tell anyone that Lizard had gone into the taxi with them earlier that evening. He said he did not hide the information. The witness said he, f he felt he would be next. So he ran from the house and jumped the gate and went to the road. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so that's all, you know, so that's what happened. So, boy, this morning, I, I'm instinct, see, if it wasn't the dog still doing that, uh, uh, the police dog save, save we, you know, car. you see, if the dog never buy the cartel, hey, dog, hey, him, they're going to eat him food, man, may I tell you, you understand, so, I just saw it go. So, you know, now that you have heard, you know, um, how Vibes Cartel, you know, get the, um, bitten by his own dog. Little did Vibes Cartel didn't know that the dog was a trained police dog. Yeah, man, to prevent crime, prevent and detect crime and make sure that you, you understand. So, all of the evidence, you know, was corroborated by medical, medical evidence from medical associates that Vibes Cartel uh, went there. As a patient uh, for a dog bite, so you know all you know. So 
Uh, irrespective of what people want to say, as you, your, uh, as you, your vice, vibe cartel, I said that his dog IQ is superior to his fans. And, and when somebody has said that, boy, that is not a compliment, you know, that's an insult, you know, an insult. Vibe cartel, I insult the man, them, you know. I tell the man, them, I tell the people, them, say, him dog, you know, a pit bull, you know, smarter than them, you know. Can you believe it? And, you know, just hope you enjoy, you know, watching the Jamaica Young Police Channel. So, have yourself a beautiful day. Hey, and Cartel, why? Yeah, we don't know, you know, I'm dead if you're dead, I'm still still, because you shouldn't kill a youth, you understand? Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out. And, hey, another thing, and thanks to the Virgin Award for sending the video to me. Cool, one love.